Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlogs. And as always, I appreciate all the love and support. In today's video, we're finally gonna take my ZL1 to the drags and see what the car puts down completely stock. Now, I have raced one of my friends in a 750 horsepower ZL1 and I beat him by a car or two. And I raced my friend stage two Roush Mustang and I pulled about a car and a half or so on him as well. And he's 750 horsepower. So I'm gonna go meet up with him in the Mustang right now and we're gonna go ahead and take it to the strip and have some fun with it. It's my first time, so bear with me, you guys. I'm gonna see how this thing goes and I'm gonna try to put down the best numbers I can. Let's go. All right, you guys, so we're here at the track and what we're doing right now is we're lined up with all these other cars right here and they're gonna do the inspection first and then that's when they put that number on your car. And then I believe that little building right there, that little room over there is where you can get the helmet because I definitely need to rent out a helmet and you're gonna need a helmet too, my friend. Absolutely. Hey, so tell us about your car real quick. So what right, model is it? That's a 2017 Ford Mustang GT. Uh, it has a phase two supercharger on there, Roush. Uh, it has a stationary clutch. It has full custom boiler exhaust. Um, it's pushing 750 to the crank. So around like 680 something to the wheel. Ah, uh, okay, so. He smoked my ass though, that's for sure. <laughs> um, so you guys, so if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll leave the card up top. Right He's here. the guy that I raced uh, in my Can video I that I put that on? short. Uh, he just recently wrapped this Mustang, but some of you guys were saying there's no way that thing is a stage two Roush. And you know, some people were saying that, not everybody. Most people were like, yo, that was a great race. But he just popped his hood. And there you go, you guys. I asked him to go ahead and pop that hood so that way I can show you guys that it is definitely not stock like some people were saying like that could have been just a regular GT it's not lowers right there you guys so I got my hood popped too because they got to do the inspection and then once we get past over here we're gonna go line up over there and then we'll go from there All right, you guys so we're officially lined up and we're gonna be moving up slowly here and let's get this going man I'm excited bro I'm so excited right now a little nervous, no lie, but I already went to the restroom. GTR behind me, a lot of sick cars here. I'm excited. We gotta go back that way, right? What? We gotta go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow it around. Okay. so good like doing it I felt it slip man on the line how you doing bro thank you man I ran a 12-4 on my first run ever <laughs> Holy cow, that was so fun. 
All right, you guys, so on my first go around, I slipped out uh, when, I, when I launched, and the Corvette next to me got a 12.7, and I got a 12.4. But man, that was fun. I'm gonna do it again. We gotta do it again, and I'm gonna try to roll into it this time and see how it goes, but man, it was weird. I tried to do a, the burnout, and then like, it did like a two-step, it was weird. So, I don't know, we'll give it another shot and go from there. The 60 foot says 2.2. Uh, yeah, that's no bueno. We gotta get better. But that was so fun. All right, you guys, so unfortunately, on the right lane, I think it was a Mustang. I think, I, I think it was a Mustang, and, and apparently the right lane is kind of slippery, and he crashed into the wall, so it's gonna be quite some time until we get another chance to run again. So unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to do another run, but I found out what my problem was. So I was double clicking the button to put it in performance mode, put it down to track mode, turn off everything, but apparently that's not the right way to do it. You wanna go ahead and put it in track mode, just regular track mode, and then hold down the button for 10 seconds, and that will allow you to do a major burnout, whatever you need, and it'll launch you a lot better, and it won't cut off. I felt like it was cutting off like halfway through the track, I felt like the car was cutting a little bit, but we're definitely gonna set up another time to come down here, and I'm gonna try to put a tire on here, a 17 inch, uh, with a tire on here, so that way we can really get this thing to hook, and hopefully I can get some, some really, really good numbers Are you leaving? Uh, on here. Yeah. Okay. I think everybody in this line is leaving. Yeah, yeah, that, they're all reversing. <laughs> so yeah, so it was, it was a lot of fun though. I definitely enjoyed it. I mean, that one run, now I know what it feels like, and I'm gonna be definitely more prepared on the second go around. So hopefully you guys are not mad at me for you know running the way I ran a 12.4. Um, it was cutting off, like I felt the car was try, you know trying to cut off. So, and then my friend told me you know what I was doing and what I should have been doing to make sure that I could do it right. So either way. We're officially back at the house. It is the next day um, and I do have the car home safe and sound, but it was really fun being there. But what I wanna do before I let you guys go for this video, I actually had some clips sent out to me from some of the people that were out there in the stands watching. And I'm gonna go ahead and play them for you right now. One of the things I want you to look for is notice my launch was so bad that the Corvette next to me, he was about almost two cars ahead of me and I was able to reel it in and still pass him and he got a 12.7, I got a 12.4. So imagine if I wasn't two cars behind what I should have put down. Now, the number that they put on the car also, which is right over here, this 437, he put an 11.5 right over here, the guy that inspected the car. And of course, they do that, I'm thinking, because they're assuming this is what you should be putting down at least. 11.5 it's a, it's an 11.5 second car so me being two almost two cars behind if not two cars i mean i, I just imagine i should have hit somewhere around that number you know what i mean like honestly i was honestly aiming for like a 10.9 you know maybe an 11.1 you know i was aiming for that but my launch was so bad we'll talk about it in a second check out these videos So as you can see, you hear the car like hesitate when I went ahead and tried to launch. You hear, pop, 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 pop. You hear like a little 
two step sounding type of sound you know what i mean like there was a little hesitation and then also what i did notice was when i was halfway like down the track i felt like the car was trying to cut off and give power then cut off and get like i felt it like once or twice and i come to find out that my settings were wrong that i had on the car so what i originally did was i put it in track mode i double clicked the little button and put it in performance mode and select it all the way down and select the track and i thought that's what i was supposed to do Apparently what you're supposed to do, which shout out to my man that you know told me he has 6th gen also, what you're supposed to do is hold it down for 10 seconds, that traction control button, and it's going to just completely shut off everything. This way you're able to do your burnout because I couldn't do a burnout either. This way you're able to do your burnout and of course when you launch you're not going to get that hesitation or any of that and you really get the effect of the car being completely open. Unfortunately I couldn't do it because of that accident that happened with that Mustang hit that wall. Um, I'm not going to blame the car too much to be honest with you. I know that Mustangs are known for that but that right lane was slippery. One of my friends he was just he went first second third gear all the way through just burning tire like there was just no grip and apparently uh, they didn't have any uh, of that glue or whatever it is that they're supposed to put on the ground and spray it they just they didn't have any that night so yeah it wasn't that sticky for a lot of people so either way we're gonna go back again because now that i got out of my system man it's so fun right like i'm planning on going circuit racing but i really wanted to get that out of my system and now that it actually happened it's kind of like tattoos once you get one you're just gonna keep getting some more so we're gonna go we're gonna try to go back this saturday coming up again we're gonna vlog it so either way if it's your first time on the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button down below a thumbs up definitely helps out the channel leave me a comment let me know what you guys think of that any tips or pointers or anything that worked out better for you i know it was my first time my first go around gave me a 12.4 which as you can see i reeled the guy right in but still i'm gonna make sure that i'm gonna try to be on a tire next time too and we're gonna try to get some good numbers in before we start putting the headers and all that stuff in there that's the whole reason why i went because i want to see the before and after but either way i appreciate you guys man in the meantime between time you guys know the drill a dilla bow superman Chilling right here, prime time. Chilling at Auto Attic USA in California. And you guys are all more than welcome to go check it out. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Hey, hey, okay, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hunt, this ain't a phone. Grind never stopping, I'm keeping it cold. Unlocking the door with the holy key. You're supposed to be this close to me. And hopefully, you understand GOD. Maybe this cold and I'm talking like no degrees. This ain't a fluke. I seen it way before it ever happened.